Okay, welcome to the introduction to anthropology. I'm doing this because a lot of you, or most of you, are not anthropology majors. And you need to know the basis of the class because it is an anthropology class. And we're gonna talk about how we're gonna use anthropology to look at the rise of civilization. To give you the heads up, what I will tell you is that I have been known to put far side cartoons on exams, so you might want to think about what is the humor in this cartoon, because that's what you do on an exam. In this case, they are hiding their modern conveniences and from the anthropologist. So why is that funny? You need to think about that. Maybe talk to your group about it. Okay, so this is an anthropology class. What is anthropology? Well, the literal translation means the study of man. That's pretty easy. But I'm going to give you a more comprehensive definition. Anthropology is the study of humans. That makes sense. It's the study of how our species evolved. It's the study of how our species developed a mode of communication, which is language. It's the study of our social life or culture. It's the study of how cultures evolved and diversified. And last but not least, it's the study of how culture, people, and nature interact. Now, if this were a live class, I'd ask you, what's the most important word in that last sentence? Think about it for a second. Well, if you don't know, it's nature. Because what you're going to see is the environment is the driving force behind all material culture, which makes civilizations. OK, it's hard to find anthropology jokes. I just threw this in here, a little anthropological humor. My career is in ruins. Ha ha. OK, so one of your assignments was to determine what the four sub-disciplines of anthropology are. OK, so we're going to talk about that. They are physical or biological anthropology, linguistics, archaeology, and cultural anthropology. And there's one more actually called applied anthropology, which we'll talk about. So let's start with physical anthropology. You all know famous physical anthropologists, but you might not know that you know that they are physical anthropologists. OK, what, am I, what do I mean by that? Take a few minutes and see if you can think of famous physical anthropologist. Doom, 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 doom. All right. Um, well, if you didn't know, Jane Goodall. What is she famous for? Studying the chimpanzees. She's an anthropologist. Um, I put here Gorillas in the Mist. That's actually Sigourney, Sigourney Weaver. But it was the movie was based on Diane Fossey, who studied gorillas. And there we have Lois Leakey. So we're going to talk about what physical anthropology is. And just for your information, the whole first part of our course has to do with physical or biological. Back to that for a second. What that really means is that these people who are the paleoanthropologists, their whole mission in life is to find evidence for man's evolution. Now. I'd ask the question, if you were looking for evidence of man's evolution, would you be looking in Alaska? Would you be looking in South America? Or would, would you be looking in Africa? The answer is C, Africa. OK, it also includes primatology, the study of our closest, closest living relatives. And we're going to spend some time on primatology, um, even though your book really doesn't go into it, because I think it's important. It's the study of human variation, or how anthropologists look at the whole idea of race. And my personal favorite, it's also the study of forensic anthropology. 